Right, Maria, thank you. So NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab has just completed assembly on the Europa Clipper spacecraft. This will be launched uh, toward Jupiter later this year. Right now, though, Coco McAvoy in Pasadena with a look. Good morning to both of you. What a cool mission. I just feel like this is just fascinating. And to tell us more about this mission where they, well, NASA will be exploring Jupiter's moon, I'm now joined with Bonnie Barati, NASA scientist. Thanks for joining me. If you can talk about this mission. Yes, Coco, we are really excited for getting ready to launch our spacecraft. I'm a child of Sputnik. I was brought up on a heavy diet of space exploration. And in that arena, there is nothing more exciting than the question, are we alone? Is there life elsewhere in our solar system or in the universe? And this mission, Europa Clipper, it's not going to look for life, but we're going to look for the conditions where life could thrive, a habitable environment. It turns out that Europa, we're pretty certain there's a liquid ocean of water underneath this crust of about 20 miles, an ice crust of about 20 miles thick. And in that ocean, there may be the conditions for life to arise and thrive. That's what we're going to be looking at. And Bonnie, what is it like for you to be a part of such an important mission? Well, as I've said, this is the greatest question. And we're really looking to see if the ocean has, first of all, chemical, a chemical environment that would provide energy for life. And then we're looking for liquid water. Life as we know it needs liquid water. And then the third thing we're looking for is some type of food for any organisms, uh, biotic materials. And if you can talk about all the work that goes into this, because of course the spacecraft is gonna face tough conditions too. Yeah, the environment is gonna be uh, not too friendly to put it mildly. Uh, for one thing, uh, Jupiter has a huge, massive, strong magnetic field. We have to protect the spacecraft and the delicate instruments from that magnetic field. So we have it kind of locked in a vault. But also, we have so many people working on this mission, so many experts in so many fields. There are about, just at JPL, we have about 600 people working on it. And there are about 1,000 people nationwide working on it. Wow. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for your expertise. You. We really appreciate it. What a cool experience this is going to be. It's going to take about six years to complete. And there's no telling what will be found. So we're really excited about it. For now, I'll send it back to you. A whole new unknown. Mm -hmm. Love that. Very cool. All right.